6th grade, module 5, lesson 3, problem set. Calculate the area of each shape below. Figures are not drawn to scale. Okay, so let's start with number 1. And you can either split it into two right triangles and find the area of each of those triangles, or we can find this is called the altitude, or the height, of the rectangle where it creates a right angle or a perpendicular line. So we're going to do one half times the base, which is three and three tenths, and six and one tenths. I'll add those together to find the whole base. So nine and four tenths times the height or the altitude, four and four tenths. We have one half times nine and four tenths times four and four tenths. So, 0.5 times it was 9 and 4 tenths times 4 and 4 tenths, and I get 20 and 68 hundredths. And then our label would be inches squared. Number two, so remember we have one half times base times height. So one half times the base appears to be this, eight meters and 16 meters. So together, eight plus 16 is 24. So we have one half times 24 times the height, or right there, 14. So one half times 24 times 14. 0.5 times 24 times 14. Did I do 12? No, one half times 24 times 14 would be equal to 168. Our label is meters squared. Okay, number three has more pieces. But what I notice is that these two triangles on the end are both 13 by five. And their height is 12, so they're congruent. So y you could either put them together and they're gonna form a rectangle. So we could just do 12 times 5. Make sure you're not using not using that 13. We want the height. So 12. We're using 12 and 5. So let's find 12 times 5. So you could either do 1 half times 12 times 5 and then take two of those because there's 1, 2. Or you could just do 12 times 5 and that would give you both of them. But Let's do 1 half times 12 times 5 and then use 2 of them because that might make more sense right now. So half times 12 times 5 would give me 30. So each of these are 30 feet squared. So together they're 60. And then this middle part, we have a rectangle in the middle. Actually, it is 12 by 12, which means it's a square. So to find the area of that square, we just have to do 12 times 12 is equal to 144 feet squared. So we have 144, 30, 30. So if we add those together, 144 plus 30 plus 30 would be 144 plus 60 we get 204 and our label would be 204 feet squared. And then this last one, number four, so we have two triangles on the end again and they are congruent 
all of their measurements are the same. And then we again have the rectangle or square in the middle. We'll figure out if it's a rectangle or a square in a second. Okay, so these two on the end, the altitude here, the height is seven, so one half times base times height. Let's find the base. So the base is, this is 24 and this is 24. So together, we'll just say the base is 24 plus 24 is 48. So again, I'm gonna find the area of one and then we'll have two of them because there's one on each side. So one half times 48 times seven. is 168 kilometers squared. So we have 168, 168 on that side, and then in the middle here we have 24 and 24 by, so that's 48 by 35. So 48 by 35 is the area of that. It's not a square, it's a rectangle. So let's do 48 times 35. We get 1,680 kilometers squared. So altogether we have 168 kilometers squared plus 1,680 kilometers squared plus this other 168 kilometers squared. So let's add all of those together. We have 168 plus 1,680 plus 168. We get 2,016 kilometers squared. for that entire area. Number five, Emmanuel is building a fence to make an enclosed play area for his dog. The enclosed area will be in the shape of a triangle with a base of 48 meters and an altitude of 32 meters. How much space does the dog have to play? So, then he has a triangle. I'm just gonna draw a basic triangle with a base of 48 meters and an altitude, meaning that part, of 32 meters. How much space does the dog have to play? So let's find the area. So area is equal to 1 half base times height. So we would do 1 half times the base is 48 times the height or the altitude is 32. Let's do 1 half times 48 times 32. So one half times 48 times 32 is 768 equals 768 and it was meters squared so to play. Number six, Chauncey is building a storage bench for his son's playroom. The storage bench will fit into the corner and against two walls to form a triangle. Chauncey wants to buy a triangle, triangular shaped cover for the bench. So here is kind of what the bench shape would look like. If the storage bench is two and a half feet along one wall and four and a half feet along the other wall, how big will the cover have to be? So since it's in a corner, it creates a right triangle. So it's two and a half feet along one wall and four and one fourth feet along the other wall. So to find the area, the area of that right triangle would be one half base times height. So one half times, doesn't matter which is the base, we can do four and one fourth times two and a half. So one half times four and one fourth times two and a half is equal to five and five sixteenths. And it would be feet squared. Two and 
to cover the entire bench. Number seven, examine the triangle to the right. Write an expression to show how you would calculate the area. Identify each part of your expression as it relates to the triangle. Okay, so we have one half time base times height finds us area. So the base is equal to seven inches plus three inches. So it's equal to 10 inches. And the height is this part right here where it creates a perpendicular line or a right angle. So that's four inches. So we don't need to use the five here. So one half times the base is 10 inches times the height is four inches. So one half of 10 times four Well, there's a part A, because it just wanted us to write an expression. Part B, identify each part of your expression as it relates to the triangle. So you can just write something about like B, so the base is equal to seven inches plus three inches or 10 inches and the four inches represents the height or the altitude of the triangle. Okay, number eight, the floor of a triangular room has an area of 32 and a half square meters. So we have a triangular room and the area is 32 and a half square meters. If the altitude is seven and a half, so the height, altitude is the height Write an equation to determine the length of the base in meters, then solve the equation. So 32 and a half is the area. So area is equal to one half base times height. So let's just fill in the blanks there. So 32 and a half is equal to one half times the base. Did we know the base? We don't know the base. Times the height, or is the same as the altitude? Seven and a half. So now we just need to solve. Let's do what we can, one half times seven and a half. So one half times seven and a half is equal to three and three fourths. So we have 32 and a half is equal to three and three fourths times the base. So we can figure this out by dividing. So let's divide by three and three fourths to get B by itself. Because this, these three and three fourths will cancel each other out, they'll become one. And 32 and a half divided by three and three fourths is equal to eight and two thirds. So the height, or sorry, the base would be eight and two thirds. So eight and two thirds meters is equal to the base.